So the learning goal for today's video is using the distance formula. By the end of the video, you should be able to use this formula, which you learned about in the last video, to find the distance between two points. Now, it's fairly straightforward. You're given a formula, you plug a bunch of numbers in and you'll get an answer. Now, first of all, you're going to need to choose which of these points is point one and which of these points is point two. Now, it doesn't matter. You can choose either one to be point one or point two, but I'm going to work from left to right, so I'm going to call this point one and we're going to call this point two. Now, you will find it much easier if you label each individual coordinate. So I'm going to call this x1, y1, and this x2, y2. Once you've got all of that, it's really just a matter of taking that and plugging it into your distance formula. Square root of y2, which is 6, minus y1, which is 2, now all of that's in brackets and you're squaring it, plus x squared minus x1, now, x, sorry, x2 minus x1. x2 is 6, x1 is 2, I'm sorry, x1 is 3, that's why we labelled it, and we square that. Now you could, if you wanted to, type all of that into your calculator in one big step. Um, it's going to make it easy to make a mistake though, so I prefer to do this in two steps. Now 6 minus 2 squared, 6 minus 2 is 4, so we're going to square 4, and 6 minus 3 squared, so it's going to be 3 squared. Now looking at that, we have the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. That's going to be the square root of 16 plus 9, which is going to be the square root of 25. Now the square root of 25, you should know, is 5. All of this working has now served to tell us that the distance between those two points is 5 units. That length is 5 units. Uh, that's using the distance formula to find the distance between two points.